Welcome to Anywhere Simplify SAP Create It Now series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create an REB DBE Process Business Entity automation script utilizing the GUI scripting technology of Process Runner Enterprise. Here in Excel, we have a set of measurement data for several sites which we need to upload to SAP. Let's open Process Runner Enterprise and get started. From the Start screen in Process Runner, let's click on New GUI Script. In the Transaction Code box, we will enter REB DBE. Since we don't currently have an active SAP GUI session open on our desktop, we will select Start and Use New SAP GUI Session and push Start Recording. Now we select and log into any SAP system across our SAP landscape from the Anywhere connector for SAP interface. Next, we will click Yes to confirm our SAP logon. Let's bring up Excel in the background so we can see our data. On the Site screen, we will enter our company code and site coming from Row 2 in Excel. Next, we will select Change Object, and in our Site Number Change General Data screen, we will select the Measurements tab. In the Site Number Change Measurements screen, we will enter a measurement type and amount in the bottom row. Since we are recording an automation script, we need to select a row to enter our data in, which will ensure that we don't overwrite previously existing data for the sites we need to enter the data for. Notice that when we now click Enter, the data automatically shifts up to the third row on our screen. By typing our data in the bottom row, we are able to ensure that our data does not overwrite previously existing data when our automation script executes. Now let's press the Save button. We have our SAP message that the site has been updated, so now we just need to press the back arrow twice, and then bring up Process Runner and push the Stop Recording button. We are automatically taken to the Mapper ribbon of Process Runner, where we will link our automation script to our data set. From the drop down on the lower left, we will select Use External Excel File and follow the prompts to select the Excel file. Next, we need to make sure our columns in Excel are mapped to the appropriate fields. We have our company code mapped to column A our site mapped to column B, our measurement type to column C, and our measurement value mapped to column D. Let's go to the home ribbon now and set our start and end rows. We will start from row 3 since our data from row 2 was already uploaded to SAP when we recorded our automation script. Now we just need to press the run button. This pop-up states we need to save our automation script before executing the file. After clicking Yes, we can then save the script to any location on our hard drive or network. Now that our script is saved, from the Select GUI session where you want to run this process pop-up, we can choose to start and use a new SAP GUI session, or we can select our SAP GUI session which is already open. Since we are already logged in, in this Open SAP GUI session, we don't need to log in again, and we can bring up the SAP GUI and watch as the automation script executes in real time. Once our script finishes executing, let's bring up our Excel spreadsheet where we can see the SAP success messaging has written to Excel. Let's open our SAP GUI and take a quick look at the site from row 3 in our Excel spreadsheet, which was the first site containing data modified by our automation script. We 
we can see that our measurement data was uploaded to SAP. We successfully created an REB DBE Process Business Entity Automation script utilizing the GUI scripting technology of Process Runner. Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inawara Technologies? Visit us at inawara.com. Thank you for watching.